morning legends. It is 5.30 a.m. and I'm off to the beach for our beach session. You'll be able to. How about this, Travi? Five seconds. Done. Go. Halfway, keep going. Keep going, Travi. Done. Five seconds, keep going. Two set, two exercises to go. Go. Up, get them up. Good. Drive them up. Ten seconds, come on. Keep pushing. Five. Keep going. Up, up, Travi. Done. Okay, last one. Go. Ten seconds, halfway. Come on, push. Done. That was 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Body weight exercises, four exercises, minute rest in between sets. Good, Travi. Good push, keep going Trav. Done a minute. Come on, keep going, no stopping. Got to just keep slow jog at that side and then pick it up, come on. Oh, he's just struggling. Right, off you go. Good, now walking back. Stay strong in your core. Good, Graham. Good, Trav, lower your bum a bit. Get those arms and legs a bit further apart, that's it. All the way, well done, Graham. Keep going, Joey. Keep going, Trav, all the way, all the way. One more, keep going. Well done. Session done, absolutely cracking morning down here. How'd you go, Joey? Uh, yeah, it wasn't easy. It was not easy, but worth it. And then we get to jump in the ocean at the end, which is the reward, absolutely beautiful down here. No better way to start the day. Hey vlog, just been here um, all morning and afternoon with Will, 
uh, editing yesterday's vlog, um, getting some stuff done with for the podcast, and just lots of content creation, um, lots of admin to create as much content as we do. It requires a lot of time and effort, so Will and I have been slaving away, but hope you guys enjoy it. Just off to coaching now, I have seven lessons this evening, starting with Big Will. Gonna give him a hit. Lovely shot. Good, Will. Getting off that back heel, excellent. Shot. Good feet and great head. Nice, Will. Shot. Aim for mid on. Good, much better. Bending at your top half, over your bottom half. Better. Just two main things for you. It's that head. So that head, just come there. So that head, and then, so you can go at it, and then try and bend the knee a bit. I think sometimes you're just a bit stiff, and then you're just playing all with your hands. You're sort of quite upright no knee bend and then you're hitting from here and you end up sometimes getting a bit early. So if you can just bend that front knee a fraction more, it'll just allow you to have a little bit more control, hit it into the ground straight away. Good. Shot rolls, good. Head out in front of your front leg. So that's the one where you're a bit upright and stiff and you end up slicing it. Better, better. Shorter step, head forward out in front, good. Yes, mate, nice. Short step, head forward, that's what it is. Just big, you had a bigger step there, which meant your contact point had to be further away from you so that you, it didn't hit your leg. Shorter step, you can then contact it later, closer to you. Good, better. Straight into the ground means you've hit it later. Good. Hey vlog, just coaching Riley, the bloke who I smashed my nose into. He's working on his spin, so I've got my helmet on. Bit of precaution, bit of safety. Nice, Riles, really good batting. Shot. Playing against him tomorrow. Shot boy, great batting. Solid. Where's, where's your weight going there, bro? Yep, going to mid off. Got to keep coming straight. Good, mate, really good. Well done, well done. Shot, good balance, bro, brilliant. Okay, again, where's your weight there? It's falling across, got to just keep coming down the wicket a bit more. Yes, brilliant, how'd that feel? Massive difference when your head goes at the ball. Nice bud, brilliant. Yeah, so what you've done really well most of your shots is you've turned your front left shoulder to allow your shape to go in a straight line. Yeah. But because, just come and stand here, because of, your, because of your grip, you've got like a bit of an underneath grip, which is fine. Steve Smith's got a grip like that and it's, a lot of players are successful with that grip. But it means that you're, you sometimes bring this hip through and this backside through to get your bat through straight. So when they're wider, you've been turning your sh shape nicely and hitting through cover nicely. But every now and again, you just sort of lose this front shoulder and to get your back shoulder through and you end up sort of in this position. So you can either sort of make a little grip change and try and bring that hand round a bit, which will allow you to swing through a bit straighter or I'm not telling you to do that. That's an option. Or you just stay as you are, but really sort of work on keeping that left side and that left shoulder in the shot as much as you can, trying to not end up on that part of your foot 
and with this hip round and shoulder round. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Beauty. Well watched, well played. So you sort of sliced it to cover rather than hitting it straight just because you got a bit open. Sharp, mate. Outstanding. That's where your grip will help you, sort of hit through mid on. Lovely shot. Good. Nice and side on. Brilliant. Sharp. Good head position. Solid. Okay, that should be coming a fraction straighter though. Solid, Doke. That's exactly where you want him going. Straight down the wicket. Shot. Yes, brilliant. Really, really good. Kept your shape there. Hey vlog, great day today. Finished with six um, really good lessons. Everyone played well, everyone tried hard and that's all that matters. Everyone learnt something and everyone enjoyed themselves. So big lesson from tonight, I had Danny finish tonight um, and he came in with a smile on his face. Uh, I asked him how he was feeling, which is something that I do at the start of every lesson. How are you? What's happening? How are you feeling? Um, are questions I always ask afterwards, how'd, how'd you go on the weekend? Just get a gauge of where they're at. Uh, Danny said he was feeling really good. He got through some schoolwork today and he batted amazingly well. And there's no coincidence that if you can get yourself into a state of feeling calm, feeling good, feeling happy, that's when you play at your best. And I made that point to him that um, Shane Warne was incredible at compartmentalizing. Um, no matter what was going on in his life, he was very good at just putting it aside. And when he was in, at cricket, he was just fully focused. He got himself into a state mentally and emotionally that allowed him to play at his best. And that's what you guys need to do. That's what all of us as cricketers need to do. No matter what's going on in your life, whether you get to cricket feeling anxious, tired, annoyed, frustrated, you've got to try and put yourself in a state. And by that, I mean mentally and emotionally where you can just play at your best. You feel happy, you feel calm, you feel confident. Um, and it might be that you're tricking yourself or you're just pushing something to the side for that time but that's what will allow you to play your best. So on that note, legends, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Skull Stories. I've enjoyed uh, filming my sessions and my day, so I look forward to speaking to you guys soon. Have a great weekend, legends. Hey vlog, great day today. Finished with six um, really good lessons. Everyone played well, everyone tried hard and that's all that matters. Everyone learnt something and everyone enjoyed themselves. So big lesson from tonight, I had Danny finish tonight um, and he came in with a smile on his face. Uh, I asked him how he was feeling, which is something that I do at the start of every lesson. How are you? What's happening? How are you feeling? Um, are questions I always ask afterwards, how'd, how'd you go on the weekend? Just get a gauge of where they're at. Uh, Danny said he was feeling really good. He got through some schoolwork today and he batted amazingly well. And there's no coincidence that if you can get yourself into a state of feeling calm, feeling good, feeling happy, that's when you play at your best. And I made that point to him that um, Shane Warne was incredible at compartmentalizing um, no matter what was going on in his life, he was very good at just putting it aside. And when he was in, in, at cricket, he was just fully focused. He got himself into a state mentally and emotionally that allowed him to play at his best. And that's what you guys need to do. That's what all of us as cricketers need to do. No matter what's going on in your life, whether you get to cricket feeling anxious, tired, annoyed, frustrated, you've got to try and put yourself in a state. And by that, I mean mentally and emotionally where you can just play at your best, you feel happy, you feel calm, you feel confident um, and it might be that you're tricking yourself or you're just pushing something to the side for that time but that's what will allow you to play at your best. So on that note, legends, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Skull Stories. I've enjoyed uh, filming my sessions and my day so I look forward to speaking to you guys soon. Have a great weekend, legends.